Hello and welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now this is going to be a bit of an update of the last video, if I'm honest. Um, a few people showed a lot, well, a lot, quite a few people showed interest in something I'm working on. And there's a couple of new things in here as well to just have a quick sort of glance at. Uh, a few bits of new dem stock. Um, there's some Riga news. No, don't get too excited, but it's just something that needs explaining. Um, and a bit of an update on the, the sale as well, um, trying to make it easier for people to find stuff. So. Um, yeah, firstly, yeah, the, uh, like I said, a lot of people were interested in the fact that I've got to sort of show you. A Sondek in, uh, Sondek Echos with Cadenza Red, but it's also got the Tiger Paw mod, uh, the, the Tranquility Base on it, Tranquility Bearing thingy, whatever it's called. Um, now, when this came in, I was a bit dismayed with this because it came in, was, the suspension was completely locked out. It was, it was, it would, it would move from side to side, but it wouldn't do the up, up sort of uppy downy um, pistonic thing that you, you, they're supposed to. Um, didn't really get much chance to look at it, but uh, just put it out there if anybody knows how this thing works, whatever, just just give me a call. Funnily enough, I got um, an instruction manual sent through from the owner um, and basically just needed adjusting, really. It wasn't actually that obvious how he adjusted looking at it. But anyway, just adjusted out and now we have now we have suspension. So this is almost, I think this is just leaving this to settle a bit at the moment. Slightly dead on that side, slightly occasional tick from it as well. So I might give it another little work round. Yeah, a little bit of a tick. Um, but it's nice and free. Loads of, loads of um, movement on the suspension now. And it's, yeah, everything seems to be quite happy. So I do agree. I mean, was one chap um, emailed me and was talking about this and he said he wasn't sure whether he should have a big magnet near the, near the car. I agree with that. I think that's a fair point. And then um, I've always thought that with things like direct drive and some of these maglev turns tables, you've got a car there that works by using magnetic force on whatever. Um, is it a good idea having a big magnet near that? Probably not. So the only thing I'd say is that the, um, the tranquility thing is quite close in because it's basically two opposing magnets and it, it stops well, it reduces the amount of force on the on the bottom of the bearing. It doesn't completely lift the the uh, spindle off, otherwise all alignment to be out. But it just reduces the actual contact point weight by quite quite a bit. So it should be it should be sweet and smoother and whatever else. But anyway, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take it up into the main dam room. Once it's set up, it probably only needs an afternoon on it really. Take it up into the main dam room, and because the customer's a bit worried that he's, he said he thinks his cartridge is on the way out, I I'm not convinced actually. With that, what we'll say, I'll run it upstairs. Um, if the, the fact the tranquility was locking out the suspension, it's got probably got more to do with it. So we'll see. I'll I'll run it upstairs. It also means I'll be able to do a sort of a before and after because you can take out the, the the tiger paw. It's probably going to affect the, the suspension a little bit if you do that, but it will, it, you should get should get an idea of what's going on with it really. So that should, that should be quite interesting. Anyway, yeah, that's that's ongoing. Um, also in here at the moment. Looks like a Riga 2, it isn't. Um, it's a NAD 533. Um, and if you remember, well, you may or may not remember, NAD had a record player in the, I think, end of the 80s, early 90s, called the 5120, uh, which was really good, actually. It was quite innovative. It was full suspension. It was a budget turntable with full suspension. And the the early version of it had um, a completely flat tone arm. It looked like a school ruler, a plastic ruler. Um, the cartridge mounted on the end. It was really flexible. Idea being that basically it's controlled, I suppose controlled resonance. I suppose it's it would only it would only resonate at a very very low frequency, which was way below where the cartridge was operating. So that was quite it's quite a clever idea. It, it, unfortunately, it just looked like a toy. It was a very odd, very odd design. It had sort of high side cheeks and a curved lid that closed down. And it looked like the sort of thing. Yeah, it kind of looked like like I say a toy record player, and it didn't really sell. So I think Nad spoke to Riga and Riga. It, Basically created created the five three three for them, so it's, it is basically a P two but with a different different platter on. Uh, so it's like a it's not phenolic resin. It's not quite like a P one platter, but it's similar. It's sort of a, some sort of plasticky type resin resin platter. But everything else is is the same. The only the only way of telling actually is apart from the fact it doesn't say Riga on it anywhere um, is you get the little red blob on the counterweight and a little red. A little red bias adjuster. The early Riga versions were green. It's an RB250 tone arm. The originals were were green. I think the Moth version of it was purple, was it actually? I can't remember now. And you get on the lid, same lid, but you get the, the nab badge on the, on the top of the lid there. So 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great alternative, really. But um, if you were selling Regas, you wouldn't really sell the 533. So, but yeah, a bit of a bit of an oddity. But it was surprising amount of those still around, really. Also got in for repair an RX3. Is it RX3 or an RS3? RX3, I think. Yeah, RX3. Um, blown base unit, um, I think. It's either blown or it's failed. It might be a warranty fail. We'll have to, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what that is. But um, use a special tool, which is the one with the green handle. Uh, special tool to get the drivers out on Regas because they're all sealed in. So um, you need to prise them out with a, a special Riga tool. Um, yeah, in the in the showroom, a um, few new bits, well, a few replacement bits. Replace my um, Minuet SEs. Absolutely love these. I mean, the quality of the finish is astonishing for the price. It's loads and loads of layers of lacquer on it. It's like a, a worn up. Really nice walnut. You can only buy these in walnut. I think they call it wild wild, wild walnut. I think they call it. But it is a really, really, really nice finish. I mean, not everybody's into shy, shiny speakers, but I, I just I think they look great. Uh, also, going down the Darley line, um, Oberon Sevens, which are these these two here. Not run these at all yet. They literally just unbox these, and they just need a bit of a run on the system here before. Because th this that's this is one of the things I'm going to do a review on. Um, be interesting to see what these are like because these are in a much bigger box than the, than the uh, the Oberon Five. Uh, a much bigger box. I mean, they're probably what they're about ten inches taller than the, than the Fives. Much bigger drivers. Same trouble unit, but only two hundred pound more. So could go either way actually. I'm, um, the only slight worry I have is it's quite a big cabinet for the money, and sometimes when you go that far with a big cabinet like that, they they haven't got enough. Sort of money, money in the kitty to to reinforce everything properly, but and so you get this sort of loose base sort of effect. I suspect, knowing Darley, that that isn't the case, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to do a review of those. Um, I've also replaced my little Atal MD hundred. Uh, sold so many of those. It's a great, great little CD player. Really, what really well made, and it just just doesn't sound digital. None of the Atals have a particularly sound digital, really. Um, what else have we got? The all oh, the my new um, got a new P8. Not a chance to unbox it yet, but yeah, P8 and use come in. Sold the sold the demo one. Uh, don't forget the P10 still on on demonstration. Um, is there to be bought if you want to? Uh, need to rotate that one. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is like. Yeah, this is what I'm coming to actually. The um, if you want to see what is, I mean, it's not not a complete list by any means, but if you go onto the website, which and this is. Playing up at the moment. It's not, it's not, talk, it's not talking to the router at all. Um, go to the website and third tab along, X demonstration used. Click on there and that'll bring up uh, a list of some of the X demonstration or second hand equipment that's in the shop. Um, not all of it is click and buy, but basically just ring me on that. This is certain products I sell you can't click and buy. so. Um, just yeah, like I said, just if there's anything of interest, just just give me a ring on that. Um, the theory is not demonstration that it's just at a price that you can just yes, I'll have that. Sort of it's a good price wherever. Um, if you start getting involved in demonstrations and things, it starts to become yeah more more involved and more whatever. And it's anyway. What was I doing now? Yes, um, I lost the plot. Oh yeah, Riga, that was it. <laughs> things are things happening at Riga. Um, the Brio is no more. Well, no, not quite. The Brio, it's basically last orders for. If you want a Brio, you need to get on with it because they're running out of parts. Uh, I had an email the other day, basically saying last orders. If you want a Brio, get an order in now. We'll try and fulfil what we can, but we're running out of parts, and it'll be that's it. It's finished. Uh, this doesn't mean that the new Brio is imminent. Uh, it's just the way it's worked out, really. I've ordered. A, Sort of truckload of them, well, not a truckload of them, but quite. A, I've, I've ordered quite a few, so it should keep me going a few weeks, I think, hopefully. But if you want one, I would get ring in it. Basically, as soon as the new one comes in, which I'm guessing will be the end of the year, the price will go right back up again to where it used to be. I mean, there were seven hundred pounds initially, then they dropped to five fifty to try and clear all the stock ready for the new version, and it's it's sort of almost happened prematurely because I, I mean, I don't know if other dealers have been like this. I've been selling loads of them. It's been probably one of the best-selling products, you know, since they did that. So I've been, you know, almost like thirty percent of my sales have been Brios. So it's done really well. Um, it's a ridiculous bargain at that money, to be honest. So.
So yes, so um, if you want a Brio, get your get your name on one soon. Otherwise, you'll you'll not get one. It'll be a bit like the Apollo because they, they, they stopped the Apollo, and the new version is ages away before that's going to come. So anyway, that's that was the news on that. Um, showing your website, da da da. Showing you that, showing your stock. Um, yeah, review wise, they're coming. I've got over on sevens. Um, I've ordered. Um, I don't think I'm just trying to remember whether I've done a, re a review on this or not. I've ordered a CD two hundred Atom, uh, which is an amazing player. I don't think I've, like I, said, I don't think I've done a review on it. I don't think I have. I need to have a look back through the. Trouble is, I've done so many so many videos now. I can't remember what I have and haven't done sometimes. So I need to look back and just check that. But if I haven't, that's coming. Uh, I should have the the two box. I'm hoping to have the two box at all as well, just on loan, just to have a go at. Um, we'll see. I, mean, I think they it's with another deal at the moment. They're having difficulty getting it, getting it away from, which is a good sign to be honest. Um, so uh, I'll leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a subscribe and a like. Uh, I will see you in a future video. Um, I was hoping to do two this week, but things have gone a bit a bit mad. I've just my car's in service today so today is a little bit truncated because I need to go back and get it in a bit they've lent me an electric car uh, Volvo X30 and basically just said here it is here's the key um, and I have driven electric cars before but it was they're so it was so different and everything literally everything there's no buttons it's all on this big iPad -y thing in the middle even if you want to open the glove box if you want to adjust your mirrors um, heated seats heating everything is on the panel um, and my eyesight is not the best but anyway that's my problems I'll see, I'll see you soon